Hello everyone, my name is Exotic Gaming, and welcome back to another Pixel Gun 3D video. And today's video is my first review of many of one of the brand new weapons released in the absolutely humongous 12.0.0 brand new Easter update for Pixel Gun 3D. As you guys can tell from the title, today's review is on the absolutely ferocious Railgun in the sniper section, arguably one of the most powerful weapons currently available in Pixel Gun 3D. This weapon will absolutely annihilate anybody it comes in contact with, and it's based off of a real-life weapon with the same name, which is just as powerful as it is in Pixel Gun 3D. It's an absolute blast to use, and one I'm really excited to do a review on for you all today. So if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to slam that like button. It would help the channel out a lot, and it would let me know if you want me to continue doing videos like this. So make sure to leave a like for more Pixel Gun 3D content. But with that being said, guys, make sure to comment down below whatever weapon you want to see me review next, and let's get right into this review. First off, going into the armory section and looking at the railgun in all of its glory in the sniper section, we can see just by looking at it that it would be a very powerful weapon, and indeed it is. This weapon has a grade of legendary, so not too many people have it as of right now, although I do think that is subject to change after this video is posted. I think a lot more people are going to get this weapon after they see this video. This weapon has a 24 efficiency, a 75 firing rate, a 7 capacity, and a 105 mobility. It has single shots like most of the other sniper rifles in Pixel Gun 3D, and a wall-breaking special ability, which the only other sniper rifles I can think right off the bat that have this, there are several others, but I would immediately think of the anti-hero rifle, and the prototype, and just like the prototype, this weapon has a 4 times zoom. So, here's the thing. You compare this weapon with something like the prototype, and you can see that in terms of the numbers of the efficiency, firing rate, capacity, and mobility, it would look like it would be better than the prototype in pretty much all of those respectable numbers, aside from the mobility. But, here's the thing, that is our first assumption, and we are looking at this in just the shop menu for right now, so we actually have to take this into some actual gameplay before we can make that final definite conclusion. But for right now, it seems like a very powerful weapon, and regardless if it is more or less powerful from the prototype, it will just destroy pretty much everybody it comes in contact with. So for right now, what we are going to do is jump into a medium-ranged map here. I'm tempted to go into a Toy Factory match, although Area 52 Labs is something that I might want to go into. I'm going to go into Area 52 Labs because this is a map that I don't generally do videos on, and I'll show you guys some longer-ranged and closer-ranged gameplay with this weapon. I like Area, t Area 52 Labs and Toy Factory because in those matches, I can get some relatively decent long-range and close-range gameplay, and you guys can see a wide variety of how this weapon and actually perform. So, I'm gonna try to get a couple of longer range shots for right now at the very beginning. It looks like my team is very far up here in terms of how close to their spawn they are, but it doesn't really matter. You guys will see over the next coming moments, you can just destroy these people unbelievably fast. This thing is a majority of the time a one-shot headshot to a max armored player, and that is very, very powerful. It will get the job done very, very well, as you guys will see. It just, <laughs> it just destroys, and it's just like what the prototype did in Pixel Gun 3D. It has that wall break ability. I'm gonna try to get a wall break kill. It'll be a little difficult. There seems to be a guy that's using his jetpack. But, I mean, this thing, guys, is insanely powerful. And, uh, it really is something that I would recommend getting if you're looking for a very solid sniper rifle in Pixel Gun 3D. But here's the thing. Like I said, this weapon is very similar to the prototype, and you're probably wondering if this weapon truly is necessary if you do have the prototype already in Pixel Gun 3D. Now, if you are tight on gems and coins in this game, I'm going to have to try to find some ammo or something like that, but uh, if you are tight on gems and coins in Pixel Gun 3D, and you really can't afford many weapons in this game, then in all honesty, this probably isn't an absolute necessity for you. You really don't need to get this weapon in order to be the true Pixel Gun 3D player, because this weapon is, like I said, so similar to the prototype. But, if you can't afford to spend a lot in this game, this thing is definitely something you want to consider because, I mean, as you guys will see, the gameplay that you get with this thing is just absolutely fantastic. It's really good, and it's arguably one of the best weapons in the sniper section in this game. I mean, this guy doesn't even stand a chance against this weapon here as long as I can manage to hit a hit. Okay, maybe not. As long as he uh, does not jump up and down a lot, then, I mean, it's just, there. there's really no chance in trying to come in contact with this thing trying to take them out. 
But as I said before, like I said, this weapon is based off of a weapon with the same name. Also, the railgun in real life. And this weapon is very different from what the railgun is in real life. In all honesty, the railgun in real life is a lot different from the weapon in Pixel Gun 3D. To give you guys a little backstory on the railgun in real life, the railgun shoots out projectiles at an amazing speed. It shoots projectiles the size of, like, a computer at, like, 9,000 miles an hour, and it just destroys any helicopter or plane coming at the battleship that it's generally mounted on. They usually put railguns, like I said, on battleships like that, and it just, it just destroys. It's an insanely powerful thing, and, um, that guy somehow killed me. That was very weird. That person had a blinking skin, and I thought that person was dead, but I guess not, so that's really weird. Anyways, very powerful weapon in real life, and it would be sensible that this weapon is very powerful in Pixel Gun 3D as well. I mean, as you guys can see, I'm getting a lot of kills here, and this is an Area 52 Labs, which isn't even the greatest map in Pixel Gun 3D for a weapon like this. Probably your best map for this would be um, Ant's Life or something like that. That's really where this weapon is going to shine at its absolute greatest, but it's still perfectly fine in Area 52 Labs. And we're kind of getting spawn camped right now, so we're, we're actually encountering a lot of people at pretty close range, so that is kind of a downside at times, but I mean, it's still better than nothing. I mean, as you guys can see, I'm really not... Not uh, worrying about getting some bad gameplay using this weapon because it's still very, very powerful. Now, this weapon is a little on the pricey side. I forgot exactly what the price of this weapon is. I believe um, when I did the, uh, the update review and I first purchased this weapon yesterday, it was somewhere around, like... Um I think 200 gems or something like that, so a little on the pricey side, but then again, you have to expect this thing to be kind of powerful considering how power- or kind of expensive considering how powerful it actually is. If this weapon was like 30 gems, I mean that would be ridiculous because everybody sing every single player in Pixel Gun 3D would have this thing and that would be a little insane, so I'm kind of happy that it is a little on the pricey side because I don't really want every single player in Pixel Gun 3D having this weapon. Now, this weapon, like I said, is similar to the prototype, so if you do not have the gems available to get this thing, you can just get the prototype, and then you basically have the same version of this, except you just shoot out a pink laser instead of this one. I mean, it isn't really reflective on what the railgun is like in real life. The railgun, like I said, shoots out a projectile, not a laser, but it shoots out at, like, laser speed, so, I mean, I guess you're getting kind of the same thing as the weapon in real life, but then again, it's still kind of is not, so... Whatever, it is what it is. I mean, it still is a fantastic weapon. I'm not complaining at all. It definitely gets the job done, and I mean, it's great, guys. Really, really good weapon, and I'm playing this on my Android right now, where I'm not very good. I still, I mean, I haven't played Pixel Gun 3D on my Android in about a month or so, or more, so I'm a little rusty when it comes to playing on my Android, and I'm still able to take people out just consistently over and over again when I'm using this weapon, so it's great. It's very, very good. Now when this match is over, I might leave and go into something a little bit different just so I can show you guys maybe a longer range type of match, um, maybe something like Toy Factory, because Toy Factory can get you some pretty long range gameplay at times, and then, or maybe even something a little bit farther like Heaven Garden or something like that, so you can see the true long range gameplay achievable with this weapon. But close range can be good as well, I mean as you guys can see, as long as you can get that definite first headshot, then you're pretty much set. I did not get that first headshot, but I still got a monster kill, and that's kind of what happens when you use this weapon. So we did just leave this match here, I am going to go probably into... I guess what we're going to have to do is just see what is available, but um, with that being said, I don't really have that much else I can say about this weapon. In all honesty, if you wanted to see anything more, if I've missed anything, my prototype review is going to be very similar to this because they're, they're very similar in terms of the gameplay that you get. I could go into Sniper Forts, that's a possibility, although... That people do jump around a lot in Sniper Forts, and I'm not the greatest, like I said, on my Android. So what I'm going to probably do is go into Toy Factory, and that way you guys can see in another relatively medium-ranged map how this weapon performs. At medium range is probably where you want to keep this weapon. I wouldn't keep this weapon in a longer-ranged map just because it doesn't have that 10 times zoom like the anti-hero rifle. So, like, say with a map like D-Day, that, that isn't available in Pixel Gun 3D anymore, but if you were... Okay, that's 
that's just great. If you were on a map like D-Day, if it still existed, um, yeah, this weapon wouldn't perform as well as the anti-hero rifle, so just keep that in mind. Now, I thought I could actually get some longer-range gameplay with this thing, but that might not be the case. It looks like everybody is spawn camping, so that might be a little difficult, but you guys can kind of see how this weapon performs when you are using this at low range, at close range. I mean, you do have to get those first shots pretty much always when you're using this weapon. If you miss a shot, you're at a disadvantage. If you're encountering a lot of area damage users, you are at a disadvantage, so I might just leave this. Yeah, I am going to leave this one so I can show you guys longer range gameplay using this weapon, since this is a sniper rifle and it makes sense to use this weapon in a longer ranged map. It's never fun to go up against a bunch of area damage users when you are using a sniper rifle because you just you can't really do all that well against those types of people. So I'm going to go into sniper forts and hopefully get some better gameplay at longer range using this weapon. But with that being said, guys, I don't really have much else I need to say here. It's great for the fact that it has that area damage special ability, which you don't see with too many other weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. The only other ones that I can think of that do have that are just fantastic weapons. I'm not entirely sure how I not hit, did not hit that guy that first time. That was a little odd, but uh, still, fantastic weapon, guys. Really gets the job done very well, and that should have been a headshot through the wall. I guess not... Okay, that's the headshot that we were looking for, but... Uh, I mean, you can get some great gameplay using this weapon, and I highly recommend getting this if you do have the gems available. Now, if you are tight, get or keep the prototype, and you should be good. The gameplay that you get with both of those weapons are very similar, but um, other than that, that's basically it, guys. I don't really have much else I need to say. If I was to rate this weapon between 1 and 10, I'd probably give this weapon a solid 9 out of 10. That's, that's my rating for this. The anti-hero rifle is probably your absolute 10 for a sniper rifle in Pixel Gun 3. D. But this one is probably a solid 9 in my book. You're going to get great gameplay using this weapon regardless which map you go into. Possibly only close range is where you're going to fail a little bit, but then again, if you can find a match where not every single person is using an area damage map or area damage weapon, then you should get some great gameplay using this weapon. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's basically it. There's a guy way over here. I mean, here's an example of why you should probably use a 10 times zoom in a map like Sniper Forts as opposed to the 4 times zoom. You can do it. You can get those 4 times zoom kills and stuff like that. But somebody with the anti-hero rifle will be able to see you a little bit better. And they will have the upper hand at very long range as opposed to you. But you can get the job done, as you guys can see. You can get those kills. And that's the most important part. Um, with the prototype and this thing, the main difference, honestly, is just... This is uh, just the way it looks. I mean, this thing does not look as cool in first person, in my personal opinion, from the prototype. I might be slightly biased since I have used the prototype so long in Pixel Gun 3D. I mean, the prototype is like your coolest sniper rifle in this game. It's just an absolute beast. Everybody loves it. I don't know of anybody that really just absolutely despises it. It's just a fantastic weapon overall, and uh, it's great. But, um, I mean, out of the two... I'd have to say the prototype looks a little bit cooler. So if you're all based off of the cooler looking weapon in the game, yeah, the prototype is probably the way to go. But yeah, guys, that's basically it. I really hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, I would really appreciate it a lot if you left a like. I'm going to try to use this weapon more often in some random weapon gameplays and stuff like that. I do have several ideas where I could potentially use this weapon. Um, I could maybe do like a military weapon gameplay and use this thing in it, um, or numerous other ones. Whatever you guys want to see, I could potentially use this thing. And just comment down below what random weapon gameplay ideas you have that I could use this weapon in. Also, like I said at the beginning of the video, comment down below which weapon you want to see me review next. It can be anything from this update. Most likely, I will be reviewing something from this update, so just comment something from this update, and that way I can review that in my next video. There is a guy up there. Can't really see him. That's a little unfortunate. I do think there probably is somebody else. There we go. We can get this guy now. Or maybe not. He's just dodging the laser every so often. I feel like the hit markers have gotten worse in this game. It's a little weird at times. Like, that should have probably been a kill, but it's not registering as a kill. That definitely should have been a kill, but it's not registering, so it's weird. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with Pixel Gun 3D. It might just be people with really high ping, and that's why it's not registering as a kill, but it's almost like you have to shoot above the player at times in order to actually get that kill. Because I feel like several times in this match, or in this whole entire video in general, I could have probably gotten some pretty cool kills, and it's just not registered for some reason. But whatever it is what it is, I mean, I'm not really complaining that much. It's still uh, definitely a really cool update, and I'm really excited to review all of these weapons. So, yeah, make sure to go check out my 
update review if you guys have not done so already. I'll link it down below at the top of the description. I basically did a big in-depth look at everything from this update, and it's a huge update, one of the biggest updates ever in Pixel Gun 3D, so make sure to go watch that if you haven't done so already. And that's basically it, so thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and can we get one last kill here on this guy? Or maybe not. Okay, it's gonna lag on me. I'm reloading. It's it's that's bad. Lag plus reload is never good. And I'm gonna I'm gonna probably die from this guy. Ooh, okay, lags, lag. Oh god, come on, game. Don't fail me now. Let's, let me just get one last kill. Oh, that was so close. Oh, that was close again. Come on. Oh, I missed it again. All right, can we just count classify this guy? I have three shots remaining. If I don't get the kill with these three shots, yeah, I'm kind of screwed. Here we go. Come on, one last shot. Oh, and I missed. All right, that's unfortunate, but can we get a melee kill at the last second? Come on, melee kill for the win. Let's go. He has the melee as well. Ah, oh, and it's a kill assist, so whatever. Yeah, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you are new, and I will see you all in the next episode.